you see the doctor's order about our patient to need catheterization? Yes, I already checked the chart and we need to perform both male and female catheterization. But guys, before we start, do you know that a urinary catheter is a tube that placed in your body to drain and collect urine from the bladder? Also, your healthcare provider may recommend that you use catheter if you have first, a urinary incontinence, which is a leaking urine or being unable to control when you urinate. Second is to urinary retention, this is being unable to empty your bladder when you need to. Third is surgery on a prostate or genitals. And last is other medical conditions such as multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury, or dementia. And also guys, catheters come in many sizes, materials like latex, silicone, and teflon, and types like straight or good teeth. A Foley catheter is a common type of indwelling catheter. It has a soft plastic or rubber tube that is inserted into the bladder to drain the urine. In most cases, our provider will use the smallest catheter that is appropriate. There are three main types of catheters. First, we have the indwelling catheter. Second is the condom catheter. And the third one is the intermittent self-catheter. We should be educated about the different types and the use of catheters. First, we have an indwelling urethral catheters. An indwelling urinary catheter is one that is left in the bladder. You may use an indwelling catheter for a short time or a long time. An indwelling catheter collects urine by attaching to a drainage bag. The bag has a valve that can be opened to allow urine to flow out. Some of these bags can be secured to your leg, and this allows you to wear the bag under your clothes. An indwelling catheter may be inserted into the bladder in two ways. Most often, the catheter is inserted through the urethra, and this is the tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. And sometimes, the provider will insert a catheter into your bladder through a small hole in your belly, and this is done at a hospital or provider's office. An indwelling catheter has a small balloon inflated on the end of it, and this prevents the catheter from sliding out of your body, and when the catheter needs to be removed, the balloon is deflated. Hey Rhea, I know the other types of catheters. It's the condom catheters and intermittent catheters. Condom catheters can be used by men with incontinence. There is no tube placed inside the penis. Instead, a condom-like device is placed over the penis. A tube leads from this device to a drainage bag. The condom catheter must be changed every day. Lastly, the intermittent catheters. You would use an intermittent catheter when you only need to use a catheter sometimes or you do not want to wear a bag. You or your caregiver will insert the catheter to drain the bladder and then remove it. This can be done only once or several times a day. The frequency will depend on the reason you need to use this method or how much urine needs to be drained. Wow, very informative. Let us now start with the application, guys. Before catheter insertion, patient preparation. Verify doctor's order. Prepare the materials needed. These are the instruments needed. Holy catheter, prep set, forcep, syringe, microphore tape, KY jelly. We also have iodine. A drape. We also have sterile gloves, drainage bag, and cotton balls. Identify the patient, explain the procedure, and ask for any iodine allergies.
ensure privacy and good lighting. Position patient correctly, assist to dorsal recumbent positions, knees flex, feet flat on the bed. Perform hand hygiene, don clean gloves and cleanse the perennial area with soap and water. Rinse and dry. Assuming that the perennial care was done already, so remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Open the sterile catheterization kit on a clean bedside table and put KY jelly on a sterile area. Put on the sterile gloves. After putting the sterile gloves, drape the patient. Pick the under pad as the patient to raise hips and slide the drape under the patient's buttocks. So let's just assume that the patient raised her hips. Then pick fenestrated drape and place over perineum with a hole over the labia. During insertion, maintain sterile technique. Pick the catheter and attach the saline-filled syringe to the side port of the catheter and inflate the balloon. After, deflate the balloon and leave the syringe connected to the port. Apply sterile lubricant to the first 2.5 to 5 cm or 1 to 2 inches of the catheter tip. Attach the catheter to drainage bag and ensure the drainage bag emptying port is clamped. Before the insertion of the catheter, we have to first put the catheter in a sterile area because we have to clean first the meatus of the patient. Prepare the antiseptic solution such as iodine swab cotton balls with betadine using forcep. With non-dominant hand, identify meatus by retracting the labia. Hold this position throughout the procedure. With non-dominant hand, clean the meatus with an antiseptic solution moving from top to bottom. Allow the antiseptic to dry. Ask the client to bear down with sterile dominant hand. Slowly insert the catheter into the urethra until urine flows. Then advance the catheter 1 to 2 inches more. 
do not force the catheter through the urethra while inserting ask the patient to take slow deep breaths until the initial discomfort has passed Hold the catheter with non-dominant hand. Use the sterile dominant hand to fully inflate the catheter balloon. Remove the syringe. Secure the catheter on patient's inner thigh with securement device, tape, or plaster. Ensure the tubing is not kink and secure the drainage bag to the bed frame below the bladder level, but not resting on the floor. Dispose tissue supplies, place syringe in a sharp container, remove gloves, assist patient to comfortable position and perform hand hygiene. Before catheter insertion, patient preparation. Verify order. Prepare the materials needed. Ensure privacy and good lighting. Identify the patient, explain the procedure, and ask for iodine allergies. Position the patient correctly, assist the supine with legs extended and slightly apart. Perform hand hygiene, don clean gloves, and cleanse the perennial area with soap and water. Rinse and dry. Assuming that the perennial hair was done already, so remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Open the sterile catheterization kit on a clean bedside table. Put on sterile gloves.
Then pick the under pads and drape over the patient. Assuming that the patient already raised the hips, insert carefully the drape under the penis. Pick and place the fenestrated drape over the penis. Attach the saline filled syringe to the side port of the catheter and inflate the balloon and leave the syringe connected to the port. Apply sterile lubricant to the first 6 to 7 inch of the catheter to drainage system and ensure the drainage bag emptying port is clamped. Before the insertion of the catheter, we have to first put the catheter in a sterile area because we have to clean first the shaft of the penis. With the non-dominant hand, gently grasp the shaft of the penis below the glands. With sterile dominant hand, clean the miatus with an antiseptic solution, swab outward in a circular motion at the base of the glands. Do this three times. Lift the penis with a non-dominant hand perpendicular to the patient's body. Pull up slightly on shaft and gently press both sides up to help open the miatus. Ask the patient to bear down the sterile dominant hand slowly insert catheter through the urethral miatus until furin flows. Then advance the catheter 1 to 2 inches more. Do not force the catheter through the urethra. Hold the catheter with the non-dominant hand. Use the sterile dominant hand to fully inflate the catheter balloon. Remove the syringe. Simply pull the catheter until resistance is felt. Move the syringe and secure catheter on patient's outer thigh or lower abdomen with securement device or such as plaster or tape. Ensure the tubing is not kink and secure the drainage bag to the bed frame below the bladder level, not resting on the floor. Dispose, use supplies. Help the patient in a comfortable position. Place syringe in sharp containers. Remove gloves. And lastly, document type and size of the catheter and balloon, amount of fluid inserted in the balloon, patient's reaction to the procedure, amount and the characteristics of urine, and the name of the person.